Huge news, breaking news, interrupting the video to announce this. The game is officially out in the US on both Android and iOS. So if you haven't already downloaded it, pause the video, you can come back later, make sure you come back, but go download it. I'm on my way to get some food right now. Uh, it's two o'clock in the afternoon. I haven't eaten yet. I've been working and editing and uploading yesterday's video, which hopefully you guys have all watched by now. Uh, but up ahead, there's a couple gyms that haven't been claimed yet. So I'm gonna go claim those on the way to my favorite acai bowl spot. All right, plans changed. The servers have been experiencing issues all day. They've been up and down. And right now I'm getting that message. So maybe no gyms, but I'm still getting an acai bowl. I'm on my way home from the acai bowl place and the servers are back up so what I'm gonna do is run home grab my skateboard and head to the nearest gym so hopefully I can give you guys a little bit more detail on how battles work all right I'm here at the gym no really the gym is here at this park but servers are down again so I can't show you guys anything. <laughs> Alright guys, I've just been hanging out at the park. The servers are back up, so I'm on my way back over to the gym so I can show you guys some battle gameplay. But first I gotta catch this nit around. Okay, oh, the, what was that? Another Pokemon just ran through the frame. Anyway, see how this nit around's jumping around as I'm spinning the ball? That's because my gyroscope is really sensitive in this phone, so when I'm in AR mode like that, any tiny movement sends the Pokemon flying all over the screen. So that's another reason that I usually stick with AR mode off. Not just the battery life, but it is a lot harder for me to catch Pokemon with the AR on. One more thing I want to show you before we get to the gym is this grass. You can kind of see grass popping up in spots around here in the park, and what that means is that you'll find Pokemon more frequently in these areas. Essentially it's just a way to let you know that there are a lot of Pokemon that can be found in this area, like this Vulpix that just showed up. How convenient. See that? Great throw. I've gotten really good at the great throw, haven't mastered excellent quite yet. But there you go. Vulpix was caught. Hey trainers, so today's day two of my real life Pokemon adventure. And as you guys can see, I got my helmet on. I've got my bike ready to go. So let's go out in the wild and see what's new. So this is the gym here, Furman Park. I actually controlled this gym during the beta. There is a Pidgeotto here and this guy's level 11 already, which is crazy. It seems to me like the experience required to level up is a lot lower in this official release than it was in the beta. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you a little more in-depth battle because yesterday I kind of annihilated Juan's Venonat way too quick to even explain anything. So this Pidgeotto has 144 CP. I'm gonna try to choose things in the same range so that maybe the battle will last a little longer. So I'll start with a little bit of lag. Um, I'll just put ball picks first. So let's try that. So you can see up here, there's two bars, and those are uh, charge bars that indicate your charge attack. You just tap the screen quick to use your fast attack, and when those bars fill up, you tap and hold to use your charge attack. Uh, obviously I didn't get to because my Vulpix just fainted, so I'm going to try to do it with Growlithe this time. There you go. Growlithe used lag. I don't know, we didn't even see the animation. But now what we're seeing is... Oh, this is a glitch that actually happened during the beta. And one that I thought was fixed. Obviously this Pidgeotto should have fainted by now. Um, but it seems like there's just lag in communicating with the server. So you see, it, it finally fainted. I did lose two Pokemon. The Growlithe fainted, even though it shouldn't have, because the Pidgeotto stayed alive and continued attacking. So if you have a slow network connection, that's something that might happen. Hopefully they fixed that, they, they improved it in the beta. It wasn't happening at the end of the beta, but you just saw it there. So now that this gym's down to zero prestige, I'm gonna go ahead 
and leave a Pokemon. The way I choose Pokemon to leave at gyms is I sort them by HP, and I try to choose the ones that have the highest HP. When you're defending a gym, obviously you want to have a Pokemon with high defensive abilities. In this game, the only indication of that is HP. There's obviously no attack, defense, special attack, stats. So my highest HP is Eevee. I'm going to leave it right here. It's here. The package is here. Yes, I did just buy a new phone. And if you've been following the channel, you know that this phone is less than a month old but I've had some problems with it. It's been freezing and restarting on me, random slowdowns. The brightness just turns up randomly while I'm in the dark and blinds me. So this is my last day to return it, so I'm glad this one showed up on time. I'm gonna send this back, and now I have this. This is the all new Dexus 5X. I'm gonna set it up and show you what it can do. Okay, watch this. Show me the last Pokemon I captured. How sick is that? I'm gonna end this video by answering some questions that you guys asked on our previous video. So let's start with LJ Spears. Can you earn coins or do you have to pay for them? You can earn coins and currently the only way to do that is by controlling gyms. If you go into the shop, you'll see an icon up here. It's a shield with a number in it. Mine's currently zero because everyone beat my gyms today. But you'll earn 10 coins for each gym you control and you can Collect that bonus once a day. The maximum number of coins you can earn from this is 100 per day. The next question is from Legendary Team. I have a Charmander and I want to evolve him. Does that mean I have to keep catching Charmander to earn its candy to evolve it? Yes, that is the case. The only way to earn candy right now is by catching and transferring Pokemon to the Professor. So if you want to earn candy for a Pokemon, you do need to catch multiple copies of that same Pokemon. Derek Carrasco asks, can you be hatching an egg and have your steps count if you aren't on the game, if it's in your pocket, for example? Right now, the game has to be open for it to count your steps, and the way that it works is the game actually checks with the server every so many seconds and calculates the distance that you've moved since the last time it checked the server. So it doesn't actually count each individual step, but rather the distance you've traveled over a certain amount of time. You can enable power saving mode, battery saver, you can go into the settings and do that, and what it does is basically, if you turn your phone upside down, the screen goes black. So it's not using quite as much power, but that's the only way that you can do that. So if you put it in your pocket like that, with the screen facing out, you could conceivably walk and count your distance at the same time without actually having the game in your hand. The last question for today is from Daily Dimensions. My AR doesn't work. Why is that? Your phone needs a gyroscope in order for AR to work. So that would be my first guess. If your phone doesn't have a gyroscope, AR is not going to work. So that's it for today. If you guys have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments below and we'll try to answer them in our next video. And speaking of our next video, I'm going to be camping. I'm leaving tomorrow morning. I'm heading up into the Sequoias and I may or may not have service out there. So hopefully I'll have service and I'll be able to play the game and maybe upload a video from there using my phone as a hotspot. Who knows? But worst case, I'll be back Saturday. I'll have two videos edited for you by the time I get back and I'll post them as soon as I get back to Civilization. So if you don't see a video from us tomorrow or the next day, now you know why. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe for more daily videos, and we'll see you out there in the field. <laughs> Can we go in here? No. Okay, Let's go so, the front door. so this fountain is apparently located in uh, some private property. It looks like it's maybe a hotel, and we're going to actually try to get in there. Let's see. Fountain? You're wondering if we can just go to no, I'm not even for a quick picture. Mm -hmm. Not allowed. Oh man, okay, no worries. Alright, we just got totally denied. 